Hi, in this video, we'll see the interactive filters, but advanced. Now, advanced interactive filters where I want dependent interactive filters. What I mean to say with the help of example, I can explain. Let's see now, I'll first create a graphical view here. So first for that, I need to pick up the category in the rows. I'll pick up the sales into this columns and I'll pick up this subcategory into the uh, rows field itself. Now, if you observe here, I'm getting categories, subcategories and the sales have got it. Now, what I want is I want to create interactive filters. There are two interactive filters. One is for the category and second is for the subcategory. Now, I want to create a relationship between category and subcategory. Let's see how it can be done. So first of all, I'll just click on this drop down and I'll say as show filters for subcategory. I'll click on this drop down show filters and on the right hand side, I should be able to see this show filters option that is subcategories. Same way, what I want is I want to create a filter for the uh, category itself. So I'll just scroll it up, then click on this drop down and say as show filters. Okay, so I've got a show category wise filters and subcategory wise filters. Now what I'm trying to say is if I select from here only furniture, so I have in furniture four elements that's bookcases, chairs, furnishings and tables. Now if you observe this subcategory, everything is selected. Now, if I select furniture, there are only four subcategories. So there's no option of selecting all of them. Okay. There should be something relevant to it. So if I select furniture from here, subcategory related to furniture should be displayed. So if I select office supplies, okay, if I select office supplies, I should get this elements at this place, not everything. So that is what you call dependent, you know, interactive filters. So there's one shortcut method you can do. Select this filters subcategory, click on this drop down. And if you observe, there's an option named as only relevant values. Okay. Right now it says all values in the database. So whatever values are in the database, everything is selected for the subcategories. But now I'll say I want only relevant values. Okay. So all only relevant values. So if you see uh, from appliances to supplies, only those elements are selected appliances to supplies. Now, if I select here as furniture, if I select here as furniture, I've got four elements bookcases, cat chairs, furnishings and tables. So only those elements are present in this subcategory. So this is how you can create a dependent interactive filters. This will be very much useful when we go for the dashboards. Actually, we are preparing everything. These are the basics which are preparing for the dashboards and stories, right? This is for the dependent. Let's see the next one. If I want to create interactive filters for dates, how do I do that? So for that, I'll just go to this sheet named as interactive date filters. So here what I'll do is I'll pick up the sales in the rows. I'll pick up the order date in the columns. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll try to bring this category into the colors. Okay. So category wise, I can see the sales based on the years. So I'm automatically getting a line chart here. Okay. Now what I want is I want to create a date interactive filter so that I have to select 2014, 2016. I can compare the sales between any year. Okay, so for that, that's a simple same method. Click on this drop down. Okay, in the order date, you have to click on this drop down and say as show filter. So here in the filters pane, you'll get this show filters. That is the orders. Uh, that is the order date. And same way you can get this check boxes here. Now, if you want to compare sales between two years, let's say I want to compare 2012 and 2017. So here you can see in 2012, the sales were the highest 2017. It has come to this 0000 itself. So 2012, it was how much 8,000, 800,000. That was the sales which was done. If I want to compare between four years, 2012, 14, 15 and 17, you can see the highest sales were in this year 2015 as compared to all these four years, right? So this is how we can work on that. Same way, if you want to change the layout, like we have seen in the previous videos, how to change the interactive filters layouts. So you same, you can click on this drop down and these are the some layouts which you can use. So let's say single value list, you can select single value list and whatever values you select, you'll be getting data based on that. If I click on this drop down, if I select as single value slider or you can say as multiple value drop down list, custom list, any one you can select. And if you see here 2015, if I say 2016, so I'm getting between 2015, 2016. If I want 2012, type 2012 and press enter. So you'll get three years which are consecutive, which are given here, right? So I hope you're able to understand the advanced interactive filters. One is creating a dependency between two or more uh, 
files which are given here and the next one we have seen with the date filter itself. I hope you have understood. That's all for this video.